Hello, my name is Robin Badke, and I am with AltaVista Technology. Today, we are going to review how to build an AP check batch. In GP, on the purchasing module, from the transaction window, you would select checks. The select payables check window opens. The first thing you need to do is create a batch ID. That can usually be a combination of your initials and the date. If this is the first time you are adding this batch, you can select Add. On the Payables Batch Entry window, you can enter a description in the Comments window, update your posting date and check date, and select your checkbook ID. Then you can click Save. Next, you want to select how your payables that are due are selected. They can be done by vendor name, class ID, which is the most common, payment priority, which can be identified in the Vendor Options tab, voucher number, document number, payment number, due date, or currency. Today we're going to use the due date. Then you need to insert your restrictions so all only the payables that match your restrictions come up. You would then choose one check per vendor or invoice. You can select how you want to automatically apply any existing um, unapplied such as payments, credits, or returns. Update your apply date which would affect your 1099 vendors. So when you're ready with all this information you would then select bill batch. As you can see our batch total here is zero and once the batch is completed which it just has you will now have a new batch total. You can go in and print your checks at this point. You can edit your check batch or edit your checks. In the Edit Check Batch window, you can see everything that had um, met our criteria to be paid today. The total are $4,900, and today it's two vendors. You can see that there is a little, little um, row of dots around the MBS, which then in, that is identifies the vendor that's in the active window here. So then it would have been to identify your voucher number, due date, and the amount remaining that's going to be paid. You can do that by um, change through the list of your vendors and look at all the active documents that have been selected to be paid. So when you're ready, you can then, if you need to do anything else, you can choose to edit your checks or print your checks. We're ready to go forward and print our checks. So our print payables check window is open. And you can see our ch starting check number and check date, how our checks are going to be sorted, and the format for our check, and if a separate remittance or just our check sub is going to print. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to print to the screen. And here's the list of our check. Once the checks have printed, the post payables check window opens. We would need to confirm the posting date. You also want to confirm that your checks did print out correctly. You can, because if they did not, or if you need to go check in another part of the building or in another city, you can choose to process later. Or at this point, if you need to reprint, avoid checks, or print a stub alignment, you can do that here before your checks are posted. But if everything prints correctly, you can then go ahead and process posting your checks. Thank you for watching How to Build an AP Check Batch.